Welcome to our educational channel. So in this video for class 10th ICC maths, the quadratic equations chapter. The entire chapter I'll explain in this video completely. So including examples, so each and every topic, let's discuss one by one. Okay, not only this chapter from this class, so all the other chapters from other class also. So including uh, maths, physics, chemistry, so other information is available in this website. So link also is provided in the description below, you just to go through this, right? So according to the required information, you can go through it. Now let us see this chapter first. So there are around 10 topics are there. So each and every topic, uh, briefly I'll explain. Now when you see the quadratic equations, so already which is studied in previous class, according to that. So in generally, the general form, uh, the quadratic equation form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So equation is nothing but there should be equal symbol. No is equal to 0. So a, b, c are if you see this a, b, c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Here a should not be equal to 0. For example if it is a is 0 then x square into 0 is this completely 0. Only we have b, x plus c. Now this is a linear equation. So quadratic equation is there should be highest power is 2. Right. So if you see examples If you observe example like 2x square plus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So there are three terms highest power is 2. Okay the degree of this uh, equation is 2. So when the power is highest power is 2 they are all quadratic equations. Now 2 should not this is the number 2. If it is 0 means this entire term is not there. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this is only linear equation. So it's not quadratic equation. So highest power is 2 is must. Okay, for example, only 3x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Yes. So this is also a quadratic equation because highest power is 2. Now 4x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. In this there is no constant term. But this also is a quadratic equation. Right? That means any equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, c are the real numbers and a is not equal to 0. This is called a quadratic equation. Right? Now let us see other examples in case if it is a fraction type. For example, let me write two examples here. x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation in terms of x. Okay. Instead of this y squared minus 7y plus 12 is equal to 0. This is also a quadratic equation in terms of y, right? Now, let us see in fractions. For example, x plus 1 by x is equal to 2. So, when you simplify it, we will get the quadratic equation or not. So first, uh, because highest power, you can't see that here. Here is highest power is 1, but it is denominator. So, let us simplify this. So, if you simplify, we will get, okay, divide by 1 x is the LCM, x into x, x squared plus 1 is equal to 2. So I did LCM here. x squared plus 1 is equal to take x right side 2x. Now from this, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now this is in the general form, x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And highest power is 2, a is not equal to 0 here. So there is uh, nothing is, uh, this coefficient of x squared is 1 x coefficient is minus 2 and constant is 1, right? That means this is also is a quadratic equation, right? Now these are the examples. Now let us see some the roots of the quadratic equation. So let me continue same topic. Now for example, how we can find out the roots from this? So let me take the example and so on. A number, okay, for example, t. Let us take ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So in case in the place of x let me take keep alpha. Okay. If x is that means if in the place of x if you keep alpha so any number which I am taking some uh, variable. Now let us take a alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equal to 0. In case if it is 0 then this is the root. Okay, let me take an example clear for you. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो Now in the place of x, what variable if I what number if I will keep this entire becomes zero, then that is the root, right? Okay. For example, if x is equals to one, that means two into one square plus three into one plus two. Let us check if it is zero or not. One square is one. Now it is two plus three plus two, that is a five seven. So this is not equal to zero. That means x is equal to one is a not root. So this is not the root. Let me take another example. Okay, if take uh, when x is equals to four in. Let me take your quadratic equation x square minus x minus twelve is equal to zero. Now in the place of x, I need to suppose to keep the four. That means that is a four square minus four minus twelve is equal to zero. 4 square is 16 minus 4 minus 12. Now this is we need to get 0, not to go 0. 14 minus 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. So we got the 0. So when x is equal to 4, this is satisfied to get the 0. Therefore x is equal to 4 is the root of this uh, equation, root of this quadratic equation. Okay, if x is equal to 2, if I keep, we will not get 0. So that is not the root. That means when we substitute the value in the quadratic equation, if we get equal to zero, that means LHS is zero and RHS also zero, then it's the root. Otherwise, it's not the root. Okay. Just one more example. Let x is equals to two. Just substituting x is equals to two in x square minus x minus twelve is equal to zero. Then how we get the substitute here? So from the place of x, we'll substitute the value. That is a uh, two square minus two minus twelve is equal to zero. Four minus two minus twelve is equal to zero, and four minus two is two. Two minus twelve is minus ten, is equal to zero. But minus ten is not equal to zero, right? That means LHS is not equal to RHS. Then, therefore, we can conclude that x is equals to two is not root of the equation. Right. So, only the one thing: the value if we satisfy the uh, given quadratic equation, that is the root. If it is not, that is not the root. Okay. Now, how to find out the exact uh, roots of the quadratic equation? Okay. The method of solving quadratic equation by factorization method. So by substitution method, so methods are there. Now let us see how to find out the quadratic equation. Means the method of solving quadratic equation by uh, factorization method. 